In this video, we're going to take a look at applying a copyright to our image, or it could even be your signature, but we're going to be saving it as a brush so you can quickly and easily use it on any other picture. Before we start, there are a few important things. Now, I like to actually use an image so you can see exactly how it's going to look. You can, of course, go to File, New, blank file but the important thing is to make sure and if we just take a look at the size of this document I've gone to image resize image size that it is under 2000 pixels so whether you're using a new blank document or an image like I'm using here make sure it's under 2000 pixels I've actually got the resolution as well as 72 pixels per inch right let's click on OK another important thing is over to the uh, toolbox I'm going to pick up the brush tool if I just right click make sure you've got the default brushes so from the drop down menu you can get here by right clicking just make sure you've got the default brushes that's because when we actually save the brush it's going to go into the default brushes right pressing enter or return will remove that panel let's take a look at doing the copyright I'm going to click on the type or the text tool I'm going to go down to the tool options now with the tool options I've actually got Arial that's pretty good so, yeah 101 that's probably a bit big for this so I'm going to change the size to 72 pixels I'm going to click on the center here and we're now going to put in the copyright symbol now if you are using a PC hold down that alt key holding down the alt key good now type in on the numerical keypad pressing 0169 that is 0169 if you're using a Mac press and hold down the option key so hold down the option key now press the letter G pressing the letter G will give you the copyright symbol and press the spacebar I'm going to use uh, Davro photo FX you can put .co.uk if you want to put your website or whatever you want to put in but for a copyright I'm also going to put in the date which is 16 for 2016 next click on the green tick or oh, over on the uh, I forgot to show you the layers panel you can see there it is there it's showing it as layer one this means it's not yet committed that's why we've got the tick here but if you just double click on the actual T you, that has now committed it and you can see it is showing the copyright symbol and what we've actually put into it but we can still edit it let's just double click on the T you can see it is now highlighted this means we can do lots and lots of different things for example if I press down command or control we get the transform type tool that comes around it so we can make it bigger we can make it smaller you can do whatever you want to do with it let's make it a little bit bigger like that if you want to change the font just come to the drop down menu here and select one that you may think will be pretty good for your if you're using a signature brush for example you may want to try something a little bit uh, flashier like that so the handwriting one that could be pretty good the other thing you can do is if you just highlight everything just highlight a little bit now use command A or control A so you've highlighted the entire word in here now using the up or the down arrow you can scroll through until you find a font of your choice now I want to go back to Arial so all I need to do is press the letter A that's taking me back to the A's now I can just scroll down using that downward facing arrow until I reach uh, Arial there it is job done right click on the tick and there it is I'm going to switch off the background layer I'm going to come up to edit right click on define brush you then get brush name no I don't think we're going to use that one so I'm going to just type in copyrights and click OK now that has saved it to the default brushes that was the other reason for showing you I'm just going to press delete by the way delete this layer yep I'm going to click on that which has now brought back our background layer pressing B on the keyboard or coming over to the toolbox clicking on our brush and if I just come down to this you can see there's our default brushes what I will do bring my brush over here I'm going to right click the reason for doing it this way is one I prefer doing it and two I can show you as you scroll down this will be exactly the same as you do it here as you scroll down there it is the very last one is showing you the copyright that's the name we gave it there's the size of the brush incidentally if you right click you can rename it or you can delete it but I'm going to leave it as it is clicking on that there it is I'm going to press enter or return which will remove that panel right now that we've got our brush the other important thing is to put in a new empty layer so when we use the brush we're going to put it in on a new empty layer that's the size of it 
It is a brush after all, so we can now use the left hand square bracket to make it smaller, the right hand square bracket to make it bigger. I've got black as the foreground color. If you've got any other colors, just press D on the keyboard. That'll restore the default colors. I want to put this in, I think white would look pretty good, so I'm going to press X on the keyboard, so now white is the foreground color. Let's just bring it up, you can make it smaller in size to that area there. I'm just going to click down, and there it is. There's our copyright brush, which has now been applied. Okay, what if you think, hang on a second, I want that to be a little bit bigger. Just use Command T, Control T, there's the transform tool. You can make it bigger into something like this. You may want to just sort of uh, squash it down a little bit into that area. Click on the tick, job done. Right, that is on a relatively small image. Let's just take a look at this one. This is a full size picture. Let's just drop that down out of the way. You can see it is 45 megabytes in size. It is image resize, image size. You can see it's 4,896 pixels. On the long side, it is a resolution of 300. So as I said, it's a full size picture. There's my copyright brush, extremely small. Don't forget, put in that all important new empty layer. That'll allow us to do lots of different things like move it around, right hand square bracket to make it bigger into this area here would be pretty good. I'm going to click down, there it is. Right, if I press V on the keyboard, that's going to give me the move tool. Don't forget, it's on an empty layer, so you can move it wherever you want to. I'm going to place it something like this. Something else you might like to do is uh, just take a look under the effects. Now, under the effects, how about a bit of a drop shadow? Clicking on that, there's our drop shadow. Let's zoom in so we can see it properly. I'm going to use Command Spacebar, Control Spacebar, come back when I'm speaking to you. Thank you very much. There's our drop shadow, perhaps a little bit of a partial one. You just experiment to find one that you like low. I'm going to leave it like that. Something else that was the drop shadow is take a look at bevel. That could be worth exploring. Clicking on this one here. And you can see you can bevel the text as well. That could be pretty good. Right, let's go back to layers. Something else you might like to try is change the blend mode from normal to overlay. This will allow you to actually see through that text as well, which can be pretty good. If I just move that around, you can see you can look right the way through it. Don't forget, Command T, Control T. You can make it bigger as well if you want to. That's going to roll it around, so just be careful of that. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, so you can resize it, even with all those effects applied to it. Using Command 0, Control 0 to go out to fit on screen. Let's just move that into position. There it is. To flatten it down, simply use a shortcut, which is Command E or Control E. That's Command E, Control E, which is the same as going to Layer, Merge Down. There it is. There's that symbol, Command E, Control E. That's flattened it down. Back over to this one. Yeah, we can do all the same sorts of things, but uh, yeah, I like it there. Perhaps just reducing the opacity, just to blend it in a little bit like that, so you're not distracting from the picture. There it is, Command E, Control E. Job done. There you are. You are now have your copyright. You now have your signature applied to your picture. Go on, give it a go. Until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.